There's the gun ending the ball game. And there is the upset of the year, ladies and gentlemen. This was not the ending that Oklahoma, or the 60,000 spectators at Owen Field, expected to see on a late November Saturday in 1957. Oklahoma was coming off back-to-back -back national championships and seemed destined to become the first college football program to claim three consecutive national titles. The Sooners had not lost for a record-setting 47 consecutive games. Notre Dame was attempting to rebound from the worst season in school history. The Irish finished 2-8 in 1956. One of those eight setbacks? A 40-0 drubbing by Oklahoma in Notre Dame Stadium. There was no sign that Oklahoma should even be wary of the Irish coming into the contest. Predictions had the Sooners winning by at least 21 points, and Notre Dame was coming off back-to-back -back losses before climbing aboard the team bus bound for Norman, Oklahoma. The Sooners are unbeaten in 47 straight games, and Oklahoma features a scoring streak of 123 consecutive contests, both of which are all-time collegiate marks. Notre Dame survived three straight scoring opportunities from Oklahoma early in the game, but missed out on its own scoring chance in the second quarter when the Sooners stuffed the Irish four straight times inside the five-yard line. The game then shifted into a defensive stalemate and remained scoreless until early in the fourth quarter, when the Irish would put together a long, gut-check drive. Running backs Dick Lynch and Nick Pietrasante would do most of the damage during the drive, attacking the Sooner defensive front with a variety of running plays. Lynch's barreling run put the Irish at the doorstep of the Sooner end zone but the Oklahoma defense rose up yet again to force fourth down. Fourth down goal to go on the three-yard line of Oklahoma. Oklahoma up into a nine-man line. Quick pitch out to uh, Reynolds, and Lynch is over for the touchdown. Dick Lynch is over for the touchdown, running wide to his right on a quick toss. Notre Dame scores. But the Sooners would get one more drive and one more opportunity to extend their winning streak. Watch the quarterback, rolling out to the right, looking for a receiver, rush, throws, and it's batted down. Oh no, it's caught, caught, caught by Oklahoma. Here comes back to throw. The quarterback throwing it, intercepted by uh, Williams, tackled and down in the end zone by Prentice Scott. It's here, Notre Dame has won seven to nothing. And a wild, jubilant Notre Dame team goes on the field. The Irish had shocked the college football world ending Oklahoma's NCAA Division I record streak of 47 games without a loss. The team bus was welcomed back to campus by a jubilant student body, celebrating another improbable victory by the Fighting Irish in one of the greatest moments in Notre Dame football history.